What's going on YouTube? This is What Would Josh Do? And this video is going to show you how to flash your Samsung Galaxy Note 4 back to stock. Now, this won't necessarily matter what carrier you have it on. I know I saw my little thing on. I'm trying to keep it on until I get a case on there so I don't scratch the lens up. But uh, it doesn't matter what carrier it's on. Now, some carriers do lock the bootloaders like Verizon and AT&T have been locking bootloaders for years. If you bought a Note 4 and Note 3 and S4 and S5, anything like that from Verizon or AT&T, you should just know right away, hey, it's going to be locked. There's not much I'm going to be able to do for it. I'm going to have to wait for some Loki or some some kind of, you know, hack out there for root, but then I'm not going to have an unlocked bootloader. So this may or may not work with AT&T or Verizon, but it should work with Sprint. It will work with T-Mobile. It will work with the International, and we're going to show you how to do it. Now, prerequisites, you're going to need to know that you need drivers. In the description, there's going to be a latest Samsung drivers and then a short link like goo goo.gl click that download that that'll be your drivers when you open up odin you'll see like com and then a number the number doesn't matter but the com does if that doesn't happen then you have incorrect drivers just go to your install programs and uninstall any older samsung drivers you don't have to install samsung keys you just need the drivers that's it and i'll link to those in the description also a lot of times after doing this i've noticed that a lot of my stuff is the same so what you got to do after you do it, like if you had CyanogenMod on here, which we are going to do a video on installing CyanogenMod 11 on the Note 4. Trust me, we are going to. It's going to happen. But if you have CyanogenMod on here and you use Odin to flash it back to stock, you, you need to immediately after Odin's done, you need to pull the battery, hold volume up, home and power, get to recovery, and do a the wipe cache and then wipe data factory reset do those two options and then it should boot up fine i've had a lot of galaxy devices in the past where if i did not do a factory reset immediately after flashing with odin then it would not boot up correctly so uh you're gonna need the the downloads to do this so i'm gonna go to sammobile.com okay so i just google sam mobile i'm gonna press enter and then you go here to firmwares and uh, make sure you're logged into your account if you have premium. If you don't have premium, your download's going to take freaking forever. Um, I'm not logged in at the moment. There we go. Now I am. It'll say, oh, it should have said up there, logged in. Okay, there we go. I am logged in. I am a premium user, so my downloads are very fast. If you do not have premium, you're going to have to let this download overnight. You need to find, there's different boxes, so make sure you're not in the wrong one, but you need to find the one that says search device here. So uh, if you have the T-Mobile version, it's going to be N910P, or I'm sorry, T. Sprint is the P version. Oh, and I got a little bit off here. So under your settings here, under about phone, this is where you're going to see your model number. Ignore the SM, just look at the N910 and then T, T-Mobile, P for Sprint, and probably the international one probably doesn't have a letter next to it. It may, I don't know. So that's how you're going to find your device. And we are on NIH at the moment. We are going to update to uh, NJ7. Now, if you're watching this video months from now, there's been several updates. This thing got lollipop, etc. Ignore my baseband in this video. I've had people comment on previous videos going, well, my baseband says this. Can I still do it? Will it work? Ignore my baseband. I'm just letting you know what I have now so you can see the differences later on after I do it. And if I go to software updates and I check for updates, this is the reason I'm making this video. I didn't want to flash this thing stock. I've, I've, I'm loving this phone. I'm absolutely loving it. The operating system ha on your device has been modified in an unauthorized way. We're not going to use Samsung keys. We're going to do it manually using Odin. <laughs> That's why I'm making this video. So, uh, again... I'm on NIH. I'm updating to NJ7. If you're on a uh, Sprint version, then it, my baseband's going to be completely different than yours. So just ignore that. Ignore that. I'm just showing you this is what I have now. It's going to update, and yours is definitely going to be different than mine. If you have NIH, then you have the T-Mobile version, and you're on the previous update that's from what's out now. So also, please... This is going to reset your device if you do the factory reset after it happens. It may not reset your device if you don't do a factory reset after flashing this. But what I did was I went to Titanium Backup. And then I just went to Backup and Restore. I backed up any old little app here. Backup. It's done. And then it said Emulated. So it was on my internal storage. I opened up the stock My Files app right here. 
and then I went to my internal storage, and then I went to my titanium backup folder, I hit move, and then I went to my SD card, and I pasted it. As you can see, I've already done that. It's already there. So now when I open up titanium backup, you're going to notice that it says external SD card. That means when we reset this device and the internal storage gets wiped, we don't have to worry about it. It's going to be fine because we have everything on that external SD card. And then when we reroute after we uh, do this update, which we will do, you'll go to menu, preferences, backup folder location, detect whole device, and you should see this option right there. If you see internal, or emulated, then you need to go to your files app, move all that over to your external storage, and then you can do press on it, use current folder, back out, titanium backup might reload, or you might have to reload it yourself, and then it'll say external SD card. That's important, because if you wanna keep your stuff, then you're gonna need to make sure you follow along with this part of the video. Okay, so we have our stuff backed up. After we do this, after we reroute with CF Auto Root, which you can go to my video on how to do that, it is right here. The Note 4, uh, easiest way to root the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. This will work after you update. So, okay, <laughs> enough talking. Uh, that model number, the N910T, mine, I'm gonna go N910. And if you have Sprint, you'll type P. Sprint doesn't have any posted yet, but T-Mobile does. So look at this. You And you can choose which one you flash. Keep in mind, sometimes flashing an older one on your newer one will cause your device to not work. So please, unless you absolutely know what you're doing, go with the latest version, which is NJ7, and it's right here. And then I'm premium. I can hit this little fast premium thing, and I can download at extremely fast speeds. Now... You're going to want to download this if you do not have a premium account because it's going to take freaking forever. If we click show downloads, uh, my I'm not using my wireless AC adapter, so my max speed is 72, but my maximum internet is actually 136. So the, even the wireless card in here cannot do my fastest internet possible. I will post something right now that shows you just how fast I download from Sam Mobile using a premium account in my internet. So as you can see, we're taking seven minutes with this crappy little um, <laughs> Wi-Fi on the laptop here. And then let's just go ahead and close that out because we already did this. I backed it up to my Dropbox here. So here we go. This is in my Dropbox. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it. You can pretend this was your download folder and it's done downloading. And you'll see this little file here. You'll just take it and you'll drag it to your desktop there. And this may take a little while. This is just a little crappy i3. So this does take quite a minute while it's doing that. We need to hop back over to Sam Mobile site here, and you're going to see Odin 30, uh, could be 310, could be 311. As of right now, it's 309. So we're going to click on that, and then we're going to let this load up here. We're going to hit download to my computer, wait for it to download, and once it's done, then it's going to be like a little zip file, and we're going to extract that this is this part this rest of the video shouldn't take that much longer it's just i just wanted to go ahead and oh you are you kidding me okay i'm gonna get my odin from my dropbox real quick okay so here's my odin right here i'm just gonna double click on that you can pretend again this was your download folder and it finished downloading what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this over to our desktop here and now this this huge file here is done downloading. You can see it right there in 910. Yours could be P, mine's T. Yours could be the international version. I don't know. So we're going to post our little Odin thing here. You'll just right click, extract to, and it'll make it. What you could do is create a new folder on your desktop called root note 4 if you don't want to do all this. And you can just drag all these files into it and then drag this file into it. I let Odin create a new folder or I let 7-Zip create a new folder for Odin. So I'm just gonna take this and drag it in there like such. And now that's in there. We're gonna launch Odin here, run it as administrator. You might get a little pop-up saying, you know, do you wanna allow this? Go ahead. And you wanna leave everything the way it is. Do not check repartition. Do not do that. We're gonna plug in our cable to our USB 2.0 port on our computer. And then on our phone here, we're gonna go ahead and power it off. 
and let it shut down all the way. And then when it shuts down, we're going to hold volume down, hold and power. I'm sorry this is taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> Before editing, we're hitting about 10 minutes now. And I just I wanted to make sure you're absolutely aware of everything. If you have any questions, hopefully I answered them before getting to this part in the video. So volume down, home, and power. Uh, when we rooted our phone, we hadn't tripped Knox. This will be my first time seeing what Knox looks like after you trip it. Yep, 0x1. That means you tripped Knox. Now, flashing this stock ROM will not trip Knox. But rooting it will. So if you want a flash stock and you haven't rooted it, like if you just want a flash stock for the heck of it, you sh you will not trip root just doing that or trip knocks just doing that. So we're going to plug the phone in here and then it should say com and then a number. Again, if you don't have com and then a number, it could be one, it could be nine, any number, just as long as you see com and a number, then you your drivers are messed up. I already told you that. I'm not repeating myself again. So um, on this one, you'll need to go to AP right here. And then you'll need to make sure you make absolute sure you're flashing the right one in nine's in 910T and then in J7. That's the latest one. We're going to open it up. This part right here will take a minute depending on how fast your computer is because it's doing an MD5 checksum of the file and it will act like it's frozen here for a little bit while it does this. Do not freak out. All right. Do not freak out. So after we do this, we're going to reroute it with CF Auto Root. We're going to restore our stuff with Titanium Backup, and we're going to be good. Uh, if you don't, I installed BusyBox, which changed the system. I installed Exposed Framework, which changed the system. I installed a bunch of stuff that changed the system partition. So that's why my update's not going through. If you don't apply, like if you don't have Exposed Framework, which I love me some Exposed Modules. I have many of them. If you don't have that, then you shouldn't have to worry about it. If you didn't install BusyBox, you shouldn't have to worry about it. You should be able to apply the update and everything should go smoothly. But if you do get the message, no big deal. Just do back up your stuff, do this, reroute it, restore your stuff. It's not that bad. Okay, so we check the MD5 sum, all is well. We're gonna, just gonna hit the little start button here. And now this is going to take a while, okay? This is going to take quite a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. That didn't take nearly as long as expected. It's almost done here. You can see it's 11.44. You can go back and see right before I started fast forwarding what time it was in the video. And you go from there. So we're almost done here. Uh, once again, this will work on pretty much any ver. This is where after it does this, it's going to reboot to recovery real quick. Um, after it does this, uh, this might actually be erasing just the cache or the data. I don't know what this is erasing here, but... After you get to this screen, pull the battery, hold volume up, home, and power until you see recovery booting, let go, and then choose wipe cache partition, press power button to confirm, and then use the volume buttons to navigate, and then you're going to want to also wipe data factory reset. That's if you're coming from like SanjMod or something. Now, we didn't come from SanjMod. Our phone might actually be just like we left it, but with the latest stuff on it right now. I'm fixing to find out here. And, and I'm not going to show you how to root it, but I'm going to go ahead and root it to show you, hey, <laughs> we are rooted after applying this update right here. So this works on any version of the Note 3 that I, I can think of. You can do this after flashing Sanjay Mod. You can do this after flashing a custom ROM. You can do it if you're stock. You can do this whenever you want. Okay, so it looks like it's going to actually update our apps. We did lose root, but we should have all of our stuff still intact. Uh, if it's stuck in the Samsung and it never boots up, like I've already said more than once, boot to re stock recovery, wipe cache partition, then wipe factor, data factor reset, let it reboot. It will reboot fine that time. Reroute it. Um, tell Titanium Backup that, hey, my stuff's on my external SD card, not my internal storage, and start restoring stuff. That's important. Don't restore everything. Dropbox, just log into that. Facebook, just log back into that. Um, all that stuff, just log back into it. Now, hill climb racing or, uh, like if you use Hansen SMS, those are things that take a long time to like get your progress back up to where you were or to go through all the settings in the, in the uh, app and restore stuff. So yeah, don't, don't, uh, <laughs> just restore stuff like that. Just make sure you're, you're okay. If you restore something that's bad, that was causing problems before, 
<laughs> you're going to have those same problems even after updating. So just be careful on what you're restoring and only restore stuff that's most important to you. So we're going to go to our system here and see what we have under about phone. And we're done with the computer at this point, except for, you know, flashing super issue. So I wonder if my finger will work here once it boots up, I guess, to the point where it will detect my thumbprint. Or will it not? Okay, it's starting up here. It's There we go. All right, sweet. Sweet. So Root will not be working right now because obviously we updated the system and it wiped that out. So <laughs> let's go to Super SU here and see what that says. Okay, so binary not installed. That means you're unrooted. That You see the screen? You're unrooted. That's all there is to it. So let's go to settings here and let's go to about phone. And what do we see here? Under about phone, where's about phone? About device. Okay, NJ7. Okay, this was successful. Again, if you have the Sprint version, your build number will not say NJ7. It will say something else. I'm just showing you I had NIH, now I have NJ7. Please, there's a lot of newbies out there that, that get confused super easily. That's why I repeat myself so many times, and I try to explain things in a way that a beginner would understand it. <laughs> it, uh, oh mine doesn't say nj7 something went wrong no i went from nih to nj7 you'll probably go from like n75 to to oh let me know to oh five three i don't know it doesn't really matter it just knows that it's different it's been updated everything is good let's go ahead and uh, i'll cut back to after i've rooted the sucker go ahead and restart it and boot to download mode There's a quick little look at that after I've applied the update. Again, Knox was tripped earlier. Uh, it says official, official, everything's official except Knox is still tripped because Knox will stay tripped forever. <laughs> so that happens when you root stuff. All right, so now we open SuperSU after doing CF Auto Root. All right, everything should look good here. Uh, SU binary needs updated. In my root video, I explain that anytime you see that message, you need to do it. After going to the Play Store and it says, hey, Super Issue has an update. Do you want to update your binary? Hit yes. And then let it do its thing. Uh, if it doesn't go through, then reboot. Try it again. And also make sure on the latest version, like as of today, it just updated to 214. I think actually yesterday it updated to 214. And so there we go. Uh, we have root. Now normally hit reboot, but I'm going to show you what my system says. So, so let's go to our about phone here. And let's show you one more time. We have root. You saw that. Everything is fine. And we are on NJ7. So you can apply this update and then root and then restore your stuff. I don't have to restore anything because my phone's updated. Everything is fine. Uh, it did, probably wiped out my system, which I know it did. So I, I know if I go to exposed here, exposed is going to say, yep, I do not have exposed at the moment. If I open BusyBox, that's going to say that I don't have BusyBox anymore. So, yeah, BusyBox is not installed. It did that. It wiped out my system. There we go. That's how you flash your phone stock. You can reroute it after you do it. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a huge thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it by clicking the like button below down here. <laughs> Unless YouTube changes it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos like this on the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. I have a few other videos I've posted on this phone. If you want to check them out, links to my root video, my unboxing, and first impressions will be in the description. And I'm going to do a review of this thing. I've got some cases coming. Um, Zero Lemon uh, is, making, is making a huge extended battery like they did for the Note 3. And we are getting that when that drops. And so lots of awesome videos for the Note 4. If you're not subscribed, you will not get to see them. So please <laughs> subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to stay up to date with me, to stay in touch with me, tweet me, and, and you know, see what's going on in the tech world by following me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, this is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.